Thank you for joining Wars of the Roses as we continue with part 19, lesson 18 of the Illumined Faith, Mystical Interpretation of the Gospel of St. John by R. Swinburne Clymer. Lesson 18, Obey the laws of the Father, no matter if men hate you, for he that doeth the will of the Father will receive reward from the Father. St. John chapter 5, verses 17 through 23. 17. But Jesus answered them, My Father worketh hitherto, and I work. God is not a God of idleness. Were the universal law to stop for one moment, all things that now exist would cease to exist. If the divine law is never idle, but working continually, then the divine giver must be ever active, ever creating. The Father works continually, but his works are works of love and works of justice and mercy. To the Father, all days are Sabbaths, for the Sabbath means a day, not of rest, but of doing the will of the Father. To do the will of the Father means to do good, and doing good is never wrong, for it is doing that which God does. He who knows the divine law will do good at all times. He ceases to do evil. To him all days are Sabbath days, for he does good or the work of God on all days. That which Jesus did was that which God does at all times. And, though considered by the Jews as the Sabbath day, he did not break. For he was doing only that which is good, and it is legitimate to do good at all times and on all days. The illumined man lives so that all days are Sabbaths, or Lord's days, to him, for his works are his religion, his works are according to his faith. 18. Therefore the Jews sought the more to kill him, because he not only had broken the Sabbath, but said also that God was his father, making himself equal to God. When man has become illumined, when he has found the Christ, then he has become the Son of God, and God is his father. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? Nothing could be plainer than this. The Jews knew nothing of the laws of God, they knew and recognized only the laws of men, the man-made laws which gave them temporal power. They were true, and though they claimed to be doing the will of God and to teach the truth, they were ever ready to destroy any man and anything that interfered in the least with their plans or their rules, forgetting even the great law, Thou shalt not kill. Man that dwells in darkness knows not the light, for knowing only the darkness, he lives and acts according to the darkness, and the darkness is great. 19. Then answered Jesus and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, The Son can do nothing of himself, but what he seeth the Father do. For what things soever he doeth, these also doeth the Son likewise. Man of himself is nothing. Man as he is, is only from the earth. He is earthly. There dwells in him the divine spark, which is from the Father, and which may know the Father. But until this is awakened, man knows nothing and has no power except that which the flesh gives him. But if the mind awakens and seeks after wisdom, then gradually does the divine spark become aroused within him. Even this divine spark is not his own, but comes from the Father, and is part of the Father. If he obeys the divine law, he becomes so conscious, he becomes the Son of God, but he can do nothing without the Father, for he is part of the Father. Therefore, the Son of God can do nothing without the Father, and that which the Father does, in like manner, can the Son do. 20. For the Father loveth the Son, and showeth him all things that himself doeth, and he will show him greater works than these, 
that ye may marvel, as the carnal man loves his offspring and teaches him to do the things he himself done, so the divine Father, who is love universal, also loves his offspring and teaches him to do the things he does. As there is a natural man, so is there a spiritual or soul man. That which is of the body belongs to the body and does the will of the body. And that which is of the soul belongs to the soul and does the will of the soul. 21. For as the Father riseth up the dead and quickeneth them, even so the Son quickeneth whom he will. That which the Father can do, the Son can do also, for they are as one. Only he who has become truly illuminated is the Son of God and can know his laws and his power. 22. For the Father judgeth no man, but hath committed all judgment unto the Son. God judges no man. Man has within himself the Son of the Father, and the judge that judges is the conscious. The conscious may sleep for a long time. But when man learns the truth and becomes the Son, then does the purified and enlightened conscious become his judge. The man who sleepeth is like the animal. He is earthly and belongs to the earth. He knows nothing of the soul and even denies the existence of the soul. Like the animal, he has no conscience and is not judged by the Son. But when he realizes his birthright, when he seeks to know the Father, then is the Son born. And with the Son is born the enlightened conscience and the Son judges all things. 23. That all men should honor the Son even as they honor the Father. He that honoreth not the Son honoreth not the Father which hath sent him. No man can say he has faith in the Father and not know the Son. The man who has faith in the Father will do the will of the Father. He will seek within himself. He will use the mind that he has in order to search for the truth. When he has found the truth, he will have found the divine law. When he has found the divine law, he will live it. When he lives the law, then he will become the Son. And when he has found the Son, he will give honor to the Father, for he is the Son of the Father. Faith without works is dead. Faith cannot bring man to salvation. But if he has faith and will do the things that faith dictates, then will he come to know and to honor the Son. For the Son is within him. He who says he believes in the Father and does not obey him is a blasphemer. He who obeys the Father does not follow the will of the flesh. He does not hate. He does not cheat, nor murder, nor commit crimes. Nor does he harbor unkind surmises and suspicion concerning others. For these things are not characteristic of the illumined soul. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and comment. And if you can, please consider donating to Wars of the Roses. Links to PayPal and Patreon are in the description. Thank you so very much.